are recording after after a bit of a pause when mm -hmm. uh, there's been some work done in the workshops in the background a lot of work done we're almost done <laughs> so right now uh, we have gathered here to read the tail end of chapter 17 and after that to read the freshly bow-tied uh, chapter 18 and then uh, maybe work out the like end-end sentence of the end-end together but for now uh, if you remember chapter 17 reading from before this then uh, Jewel had <coughs> independently uh, boarded the vessel of her personal arch nemesis Wraith. Uh, she had had a bit of a cat and mouse with him, uh, and uh, squished him. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, in the process also uh, freed her brother who was captive on his ship and it was so glorious yes it was pretty nice <laughs> um, maybe I think may maybe it would be good if we start by reading a little bit of what's happening on the ship and then comes the transition to the end to start here? Maybe, or maybe here even. Okay. Just, just to add a little bit of drama. She didn't have to wait long. The containment area door flew open and a swarm of pellets whizzed past the capsules, accompanied by a sickeningly familiar boom that made Jewel's scars tingle. She kept her shooter aimed as Wraith stepped into the holding bay his vintage style shotgun back in business must be using a vintage propellant too my ears are still fucking ringing he granted her hideout a mere side glance and continued down the walkway Jewel listened to his steps and slid out silent as a shadow that's right motherfucker eyes front she sent two quick projectiles into his large armoured back and levelled the barrel with his head she sent two quick projectiles into his large armoured back and levelled the barrel with his head as he turned. Before the surprise could fully register on his face, she squeezed the trigger again. <laughs> Jewel kicked Wraith's weapon away and kept hers pointed at his sprawled form until certain his life signs had ceased, then sent two more projectiles into his forehead. Just making sure. She unlocked Fortune's capsule and found him hunched, hands over his ears. Hey, it's safe now. You can come out. He blinked at her and peeked out. Uh, sure. Is he dead? Very much so. I made sure. To her surprise, Fortune nodded with a wide, content smile. Good. You did well, sis. Whoa. Yeah, I better sit down. My head feels all funny. Fortune sat on the floor beside her. You know, I can feel it too. Momentum's changing. Jewel frowned, her mind not quite up to the task of thinking and remembering. Oh, they were going to bring the ship back down. Let's just wait here. <laughs> okay, and now comes the part that we haven't read yet uh, so oh, um, here's the thing uh, the part that comes now actually grew kind of long uh, but I'm gonna say it in advance that I would want to keep it together with this chapter even though it's two different locations even though there's a time gap but it is, it's, it's a resolution for the same thing so it's like, in my mind, they belong together. Uh, we will see if uh, if people will pick up that there's a potential for a chapter break here. 
but personally I would I would keep the next part together with this chapter. Okay, carry on. The Harper compound was bustling with people when they returned. More of Raptor's freelancers had shown up, patrolling the perimeter, chatting with the house guards, passing around food containers, and, no and noising up the hallways. Max's office had been turned into a temporary command centre, with a mix of house and street crew managing the info feeds. Passing through the vigilant idle crap. Ha ha ha! Let me try that again. I think I'm speeding up because it's exciting. Let's, uh. Oh, there's no need. Yeah, there's no rush. Yeah. The danger. The. The. The primary. Uh, primary threat has been eliminated. Now comes the sort of slowdown phase. This. This whole. This whole scene is kind of like a wind down thing. Passing through the vigilant idle crowd. Jewel noticed their inquisitive looks on her and their friendly nods at Fortune. They act as if they've come home. Then it dawned on her. If they're Raptors contracts, if they're Raptors contacts, they've been also working with our parents. I think I'm I'm too slow now. Is this... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta you gotta keep the momentum. It's like yeah. if they're Raptors contacts, they've also been working with our parents. That's that's how it reads in my mind. She stood herself awkwardly by her father's marble desk, unsure where to direct her gaze, and noted a familiar street runner squad nearby. A woman with a grey brush cut broke from the group and stepped up to her. You did well, Sparky. I knew you'd turn out all right. Eclipse. I suppose your people were in on the whole thing too? Oh, hang on, there's uh, something missing there. I suppose your people were in on the whole thing too. Yeah, there's a V missing. Right on. She soft punched Jewel. In <coughs> oh, and let, again. Me, oh. Let, me, let me try this myself. <clears throat> a woman with a grey brush cut broke from the group and stepped up to her. You did well, Sparky. I knew you'd turn out alright. Eclipse? I suppose your people were in on the whole thing too. <laughs> Right on! She soft punched Jewel into shoulder. You didn't think your mama would let you run the streets without proper guidance, did you? Of course. Okay, carry on. Uh, in, uh, into shoulder is weird, I don't... She soft punched Jewel in the, so in the shoulder or on the shoulder? You know, like... Yeah. Uh, remove your cursor. There is some other shit oh, going on here. What is this doing here? Oh, it's the L. The document is acting weird. Mm. See if see if anyone picks up on it. Yeah, I would. I would personally leave it like it is. Jewel found a seat and waited until Raptor returned from the command crew. What happens now? Despite everything, the, the initial objective remains. Raptor needed his forehead. We are going to gear you up and help to move undetected until the long-term details of Fortune's safety are worked out. There are resources set aside specifically for that purpose. Once Fortune is settled, you are free to resume the more visible operations. I would advise extra training for the house security, though. <laughs> okay, so here, here comes the part where I haven't been able to word out something. So, mm -hmm. so here's... Basically, Raptor is advising her to buff up the house security and maybe hire more people. And I'm looking for a sort of very snappish, brief way of saying it. I 
I don't have any useful suggestions. My mind is like, I would suggest more resources, but that's not right at all. So. Yeah. So so basically, what he, what he is saying is uh, he is saying that she should uh, she should train the existing people and uh, and bring in some of the freelancers to. Um, Strengthen the ranks, basically. Mhm. Mm so it's like he could say some improvements for the house security, or some upgrades. Hmm. Or upgrades sounds like they they're gonna stick a load of turrets on the perimeter wall, though. <laughs> yeah. So upgrades is more like technology thing. Mm. Well, we would install the turrets, but they'd clash with the, <laughs> you know. Um, I would, I would advise bringing more people in and training. Uh, no, I'm, I'm no help to you, Laura. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I want to say it in like two or three words, max. I, was mm. like, I would adv advise some. Reinforcements. Oh, I I would advise. Re is reinforce reinforce with E or I. I don't know. I think it's I, I and I d and I don't think there's a hyphen either. I think we've we've got rid of the whole hyphen deal. I think it's reinf. Let me check. For, for for now, yeah, you 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 do the googling. I will do the writing for now. Yeah, reinforce R E I N force. I would advise reinforcing the house security though. Yep. That's that's as short as I want it. Verb to strengthen or support an object or substance, especially with additional material. And then there's also strengthen an existing feeling, idea, or habit, or strengthen a military force with additional personnel or equipment. So I think that's the most fitting. I suspect that spelling it with I is completely arbitrary here, because enforcement is with with E. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, I'm, reinforce I mean, spelt re hyphen enforce with an e is that specifically means to reinforce an army. Okay. But reinforce with the i also means the same thing. So it's okay. So it's like parallel forms flying about, mm. and there might be some nuance between them, but. I don't know. You know what? Stick with the eye. <laughs> no. I will I will write it like this. If for nothing else than to just add sort of slowness and uh and uh you know the unsmooth uh, speaking mm -hmm. of rapture. But it but it needs checking. So this is this is something that uh, if if it's wrong, I expect somebody to pick it up. Carry on. Raptor paused, resting his chin on his cradled fingers. Regarding your operations, we have the issue of your enforcement status to resolve. You did kill one of your hub. As per protocol, I will need to address this. He killed me first, which provides an excellent argument on your behalf, should you choose to make a case for maintaining your position as a seeker. Uh, I, I, I want to read it myself. <laughs> yeah, do it, do it, do it. Yeah. Raptor paused, resting his chin on his cradle fingers. 
Regarding your operations, we have the issue of your enforcement st status to resolve. You did kill one of your hub. As per protocol, I will need to address this. He killed me first. Which provides an excellent argument on your behalf, should you choose to make a case for maintaining your position as a seeker. If this is what if this is what you wish, if this is what you wish, yeah. <laughs> if this is what you wish, there are certain truths for you to acknowledge. First, our recruitment policies. Just a second. So I have. Let me highlight this. So I have marked a point here where Raptor might do something like scratch, sniff, snivel, whatever. Anyway. If this is what you wish, there are certain truths for you to acknowledge. First, our recruitment policies have not changed since my rookie days, nor has our reputation. When it comes to people like Wraith and their business arrangements, well, Jewel sighed. I think I understand. He was not the odd one out. I am. Quite. Second, after this incident, your filial ties will be unambiguously explicit. The people with hmm, conflicted interests towards your family still hold high ranks in the hub. It takes vigilance and resolve to stand up to their meddling force. Meanwhile, their business partners, our own squads, want sponsors and race benefactors. They would probably very much want to hire you. After what I did to Wraith? Especially after what you did. Learning that you're Trista's kid would likely make them want to recruit you even more. A case of very delayed gratification, if you will. Raptor scratched his stubble. The matter is complex, I know. If you need some time to think... No. She will fold her arms. I want out. Very well. Raptor's expression was impossible to read. My report will then outline how your insubordination thwarted my attempts to mitigate an escalating conflict contract dispute and led to an unnecessarily tragic loss <laughs> of a fellow seeker. You will be expelled from the ranks, losing access to the resources and information. I shall receive an official reprimand for my lapse in supervision and the failure to factor in family ties and personal grudges, thereby underestimating the potential threat involved. Seeker ships ought to be returned to Reister Hub. If there are any items aboard Solitaire you would like misplaced, let me know. Jewel <laughs> <laughs> nodded. This is really happening. What about yourself? After, a, after accepting some heat for the Harper fiasco, his eyes briefly flashed a glint of mischief, I carry on with my work. My position at the Seeker inner circles is far too valuable to give up. Raptor fell silent, gazing into distance. Jewel, once these procedures run their course, we are no longer officially affiliated. You understand what that means. She took a deep breath. I am no I am not to contact you anymore. Indeed. Not directly that is. The glint of mischief returned as he sent his gaze around the room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's only one paragraph left. <gasps> do it, do it, do it. Uh, just, just a second. Let me remove this uh, action point here. I think, I think I was able to rephrase the whole uh, part in such a way that uh, that action was no longer needed. <laughs> where, where, where? Okay. Final paragraph of chapter seventeen. Jewel and Fortune returned from the quiet room where they'd said their goodbyes to Maxis. Everybody off-duty had gathered in the office and drinks were passed around. Raptor raised a glass of clear liquid with three red berries in it. 
To those we lost today, a choir of murmurs replied with names and sentiments. Rector sat down by Max's desk and waved Jewel and Fortune over. Soon, you two will be relocating. He picked up a bamboo box filled with paper squares. Before you go, there is one important matter to attend. Armed with a blue stripe stick, he began writing down a string of coordinates. <laughs> and thus concludes chapter 17. Whee! The penultimate. <laughs> Whee! Yeah, this uh, this one uh this this whole sequence, the uh the wind down back at the ranch. Uh this actually took quite a while to work out. Like all the all the information was there. But since this is like a mini finale before the uh final final chapter uh the responsibility <laughs> <laughs> No, dear. Comments, <laughs> notes. Yeah, there, there, there were a few days when I was, when, when there was the sort of the death stare at the monitor, and no words come out. <laughs> <laughs> Beatings will continue until morale <laughs> improves. <laughs> okay, so. If that is all for the moment, I will make a pause in the recording mm -hmm. and we shall carry on with the final, final chapter very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye!